you very much. Thank you. And one of the nicest things about appearing on television, ladies and gentlemen, is you do meet some wonderful people. And tonight Thank is... You. Get off. <laughs> hey, get off. Oh. <laughs> and tonight is no exception. I'd like now to introduce oh. to you our special guest. Yes? Do me a favour. What? Will you lend me sixpence for a cup of tea? Sixpence for a cup of tea? Yes, please. Now, look, I haven't got time to bother with that. I'm going to introduce our special guest star, Mr. Edward Woodward. Who? Edward Woodward. Oh, great. Now, it's about time we had an accordion player on the show. We've never had one before. <laughs> and I love a good accordionist. Edward Woodward, accordionist. Oh, is he? Great. Is he any good? No! Well, we don't want a lousy one, do we? <laughs> Edward Woodward! You're going to have trouble with that name, aren't you? <laughs> Edward Woodward. I had the same trouble with Martin Lukins. I got fired from a show for saying that once, very quickly. <laughs> Martin? Look, look, here's our special guest star tonight, and I'm going to introduce it. Yes, well, I want sixpence for a cup of tea. What do you want sixpence well, for? Well, the, the machine is broken down in the corridor. Yes. Because I put sixpence in, mm -hmm. I pressed the button, mm -hmm. and, the, and the lift came down. Uh, and the lift came? I opened it, no tea. Y <laughs> Just Lord Hill sat there sucking his pipe. Y looking a bit worried. Look, why haven't you got any money? I haven't been paid, have you I? You haven't been paid? Well, go see Mr Wilkins, he'll fix you up. Yes, but, I mean, uh, I haven't barely haven't got anything for me. Look, you'll find him anywhere. You'll find a sixpence in my room in the dressing room, OK? Great. Right. <laughs> now, Lindsay... I've got to get the tea on. <laughs> the tea on! Another gem! Another gem in the front of stuff. <laughs> look at that, look at that. <laughs> Don't keep doing that. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now with great pleasure I'd like to introduce our special guest star, a man who made Callan one of the most famous characters on television today. Here he is, Mr. Edward Woodward. <laughs> it really is a pleasure to have you on the show. Thank you. Tell me, uh, Edward, have you read the play? Yes. You read my play. <laughs> it's very funny. <laughs> Yeah, it's a riot. <laughs> it's supposed to be dramatic. Watch it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> if you think it's funny, well, then it's funny. <laughs> we'll all laugh. Yes. Right. <laughs> now, this play is called Murder at the Grange, and you play the part uh, of the village constable. Do it as a Yes? I don't want to take the money out of your handbag while you're not there. <laughs> yes, so I was wondering, maybe if... How'd it do? Hello? <laughs> We've caught up with you, then. No! <laughs> Give your wrong name and walk away. That's all you're going to do. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. This poor little old man is not responsible for his action. When he goes to the cinema alone in the afternoon, he can't help himself. He's mad about Alice Faye. Alice Faye? You see what I mean? He went white when I said that, officer. Alice Faye. He's lost his faculties, you know. In a swing door at Brighton. <laughs> Didn't you? Lose your faculties. It's all right to say faculties, isn't it? <laughs> faculties. <laughs> no, faculties. <laughs> I'm a bit deaf. What did he say, then? I, d I don't know. I don't oh. know. I'm sorry about this, Edward. This is just one of his little jokes. And here's another one. <laughs> <laughs> Edward, this is Eric Morkham. This oh. is Mr Edward Woodward. How, How are you? Doing? Very nice to meet you. Very nice. You're going to get it out and give us a tune? <laughs> get, get what out? Well, that's up to you. <laughs> don't you take it everywhere with you? No, I'm sorry, I, I don't quite know what you're talking about, you see. Just Mr. let Watson. me explain. Mr. Edward Woodward is the special guest in my play tonight. Oh? Murder at the Grange. He plays the part of this tough, ruthless policeman. <laughs> yeah, great, great, great. Yeah. You see, I, I'm the policeman that comes down to investigate the crime. Oh, shh. <laughs> well, so it's a very nice little character part. I'm sure it is, yes. yes. Yeah. I'm hot on the scent. There's no answer to that. <laughs> do you, uh, do you keep the handcuffs in there? <laughs> well, how, how did that get there? <laughs> oh, they all say that. <laughs> how did that get there? Well, you play your cards right, you're in there, mate. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Woodward. He's got no respect for an actor of your high standing. I do apologize. Ah, stop crawling. Oh. The best crawler in the world you are. Yeah. I, I think perhaps I'd better go and put my makeup on. Try. Don't bother. Do it here. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone a gem. <laughs>
would you, um, would you care to take that, Mr. Weiss? Thank you. <laughs> My God, that was close. <laughs> How do you get these? How do you get these famous artists on your programme? I'll never know, you know. Why do you mean? Can't with the money. Well, Look at Peter running around asking for Mr. Wilkin. Well, it's got nothing to do with me. The only thing you're worried about is your handbag, isn't it? Wait a minute, now get this straight, this is not my handbag. No, no, This no. happens to be my wife's handbag, and I'm getting no, the plastic... No, look, look, look. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying... Yeah. I can't find Mr. Wilkins, Wilkins anywhere. Eh? What? Oh, I want? can't find Mr. Wilkins. Well, he's, he's, you know, he's over there, that door. He's over there. Yeah, but keep trying, keep trying. Mr. Wilkins! Trying. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Wilkins. Yeah. Poor old fellow, he's snapped, he's snapped. <laughs> I'd abdicate if I were you. I don't blame him. It's embarrassing, all of course, the it's embarrassing. asking for money. Now, what, what is it now? Oh, in this. Yes, in your this part in this play. Yes. Well, what happens is that you are a guest at the Grange. I see. And you come up over the weekend. It's something I've eaten. <laughs> it's something I've eaten. No, no, no you're very... come up over the weekend. No. You're very well known in social circles. Oh, that's true, that's true. You are a famous conductor. Got it? Okay. Okay, right. right. I've got to get the tea again. Tea. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's... Wait a minute. Why do you keep doing that? I'm trying to make it a catchphrase, you see. If I let anybody will do it. That will never become a catchphrase. It has with you. Look at it already. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, now I'd like to present a play that I've written, starring Mr Edward Woodward and myself playing the part of Major Smythe in an Agatha Christie-type play entitled Murder at the Grange or The Mousetrap. <laughs> with him. so sad. <laughs> this is a terrible business, what? Yes, sir. Terrible? Yes, sir. Shocking? Yes, sir. Very nasty, all this. Yes, sir. Something should be done about it. Yes, sir. I've contacted the police. Oh, good, sir. They're sending a man round right away. Oh, yes, sir. But what about your other guest, Mr. Morecambe? Oh, Does I've... he know of this tragedy? Of course he knows about it. I told the silly old fool that. I told him about it. Yes, sir. He should be along here any moment now. Yes, sir. <laughs> are you paying for the drunk? <laughs> what are you dressed like? <laughs> Fabulous. Is that you under there? Yes. Oh, good lad. Keep going then. What are you dressed like that for? Well, that's what you wanted. Famous, famous conductor. You. Famous musical conductor! <laughs> In social circles, well known. Not bus conductor. What famous bus conductors are there? There's me. I'm famous on my number 74 bus route for my many quips. I bet you are. Pass along each side. You can't go upstairs. The beds are not made yet. <laughs> I do all them. How far can I go for Fortins? You do that with your dog. I'll do it with my bus. <laughs> Have you finished? Yes, just about. It's all written down on these. <laughs> can we get on with this plane? Ready really, when you are, Pally. <laughs> we'll take it from my lines, OK? Right then. You've got some good lines, hasn't he? <laughs> hey! I'm just getting into it, that's all. Ah, yes. Oh. I say, this has been a most foul murder. Oh, what? Murder. Oh, sir, that's the back door. I'll get it. Excuse me. Don't worry, you're going to get the back door. Yes, sir. This is a pretty sad business, this, isn't it? <laughs> It was the back door. 
I'll tell you something. What? I never knew you had a cellar here. A cellar? <laughs> I thought they'd never arrive. Ah, oh, here they are now. <laughs> Evening, no. Good evening, Constable. Oh, I understand you sent for the police, sir. Yes. Will they be long? Yes. <laughs> Constable, I have some sad news for you. You're fired? No. Oh. <laughs> There's been a most brutal murder, Constable. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. They're always the worst, sir. Oh, yes. Could I see the body? Certainly. Th there is the body. <laughs> right. What? Why? Why, Constable, are you measuring him? Seems a pity to waste a good suit, sir. That's true. That's true. <laughs> what's the inside leg? 28. And what's yours? 29. You're limp, then. <laughs> right. <clears throat> I'll just take a few notes. Yes, please do. My ticket machine, no good. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Aren't you going to ask us all questions? Uh, well, I was just about to do that, sir. Well, I think you should have your notebook. Yes, sir. I have got it right here, sir. <coughs> Only a wrong. <laughs> I, I wonder if we could get on with the investigation, sir. Ready when you are, Polly. Thank you very Keep much, going, indeed, sir. Mr. Thank Blum. you, sir. Thank you. Now, I think I'll start with this gentleman over here. That's a woman. Oh, I'm sorry. I've been on nights. <laughs> That's the ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd just put that yes, in. Yes, good yeah. start. Good <laughs> start. <laughs> yes, I'll get me on back. Don't worry, I'll be in with you. <laughs> right, I'll bring him back to life. <clears throat> now, no, no, sir. Now, sir, if I may make so bold. Third door on the left, you can't miss it. <laughs> you haven't got a lot this week, have you? You haven't got a lot to do this week, have you? We'll get you a book in a minute. <laughs> but could I have your name, sir? Do you like your own? Are you happy with yours, Edward Woodward? Very difficult to say, Edward <coughs> Woodward. Uh, sir, perhaps I ought to have your fingerprints. Certainly! <laughs> <laughs> he can't move now. It's paralyzed all down one side. Mr. You! Surprise, may I just have a word with you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. I know I've only got a little bit. Yes, well, I mean, we'll only take your word for that. <laughs> But Mr. Morecambe keeps amazing, making me lose my flow. Yes. Well, we can still only take your word for that. Yes. <laughs> Make him amazing. I do, don't you think? I, I do apologise for all this, really. Well, I do apologise. Oh, do you think stop, we get on? Crawley. What's the matter with well, you? Send him home. I can't do that. We don't need him. Don't forget I can do me impressions, you know. We don't really want big actors and things like what, that. What impression? Well, for that, for a start, look at that. What impression's that? Sutty with no clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> I've got 25 minutes of that rubbish. It's, it's rather good, then. So can we get on with the play, please? Huh? Let him get on with the, the play. play. Yes, keep still while I'm talking. Oh. Sorry. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. White. Yeah, very right. Good. Thank you. No, no, sir. Perhaps you would care to have a look at the body. That's most kind. Thank you very much. Come on, love. No! <laughs> Tell me! What? You're spoiling the whole thing. What are you trying to do? Belittle me? You can't do it than what you are! I'm you sorry. Uh, I've had it. Huh? I've had it. I've had it. I've had it. You're lucky. You're lucky. You're lucky. <laughs> We've been rehearsing, rehearsing, rehearsing. This, this new, whole new, thing new. is absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely, it's, it's a load of rubbish. Of course it is. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. This play has gone far too far. Far too far. Have another ticket. I don't want another ticket. Thank oh. you, Mr. Oh. Woodward. Please control yourself. Ah, oh, let him take it all off if he wants to. <laughs> Give us all a laugh then. Imagine that impression of a teapot. You never know your luck. <laughs> it's a shambles. It's a shambles. <laughs> I'm sorry, but you can breathe out now. <laughs> what? My whole career is lying around me in ruins. Mr. Breathe out. Mr. Woodward, please. Oh, don't look, another crawler. Oh, we've got another crawler. I'm sorry, I, I will not be placated. My whole career is in jeopardy. Is that far from here? <laughs> you are making me look a right nit. There you are, you see? You're making him look a right nit. Well, he's deeply hurt. Well, it's just trunchum. What do you mean he's. <laughs> What do you mean he's trunging? He put it down the wrong trouser leg. 
I noticed that when he got off that bike and placated himself. <laughs> In jeopardy. Have you finished? Hey? Have you finished? Yes, I've ruined it all for you. You've spoiled the whole thing and you've ruined it completely. <laughs> he's lovely, isn't it? <laughs> well, he works well, he's lovely. I'm sorry about this, Edward. I do apologise, I do apologise, lady. What the worry about it? What are you going to do about it? Well, I can fix everything. Fix it. Come over here, yeah. Yes. Huh? <laughs> now, I'll find out the murderer. Yes. Is he dead? He's dead, yes. Well, he hasn't done it, has no, he? No, he hasn't done it. So I will find the murderer in time. In time. That's it. That's the clue. The clue? The murderer is in here! I'm sorry to be a nuisance. Get up! <laughs> There's a grandfather in the clock. Yes. I've been looking everywhere for Mr. Wilkins. Edward. So they roped you in too. Peter. Why didn't you warn me? I haven't been paid Well, yet. nor have I been paid. And I haven't been paid yet oh. either, Peter. And I haven't been paid shut, yet. Shut, 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 shut. I suggest we all go look for Mr. Wilkins. Have you any idea, idea where he might be? I I through that door. Through that door. Oh, come along. Come along. Mr. Wilkins. Mr. Mr. Wilkins. Mr. Wilkins and Mr. Mr. Wilkins. Mr. Wilkins. Oh, Mr. Mr. Wilkins. Mr. Wilkins. Mr. Wilkins. The whole shot's for the crawlers. Yeah. Have they gone? Yeah. I've got all the money. Yeah. Theirs as well. Yeah. Mr. Wilkins. In the hamper. Right. Shares out. Okay. <sighs> one for you, one for me, two for you, two for... How old are you? 36. 36, 37, 38. <laughs> oh, do me a favour. You're not going to do that old Abbott and Costello routine, are you? I won't. 36, 30, yeah. good lord. Anyway, I'm 43. Oh, 44. Yeah. <laughs> 45. <laughs> Oh, it's hot in here, isn't it? Must be 90. Yeah, 91. 91. <laughs> 92. 93. Oh, come on. Ah!